This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Ao from Naruto Ao was a former Anbu of Kirigakure's Hunter Nin Corps that served as the 5th Mizukage's right hand. For his services, he was regarded as a hero of his village before retiring and secretly working as an outer for Kara. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Ao. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Ao fought on the battlefields ever since he was a young boy. During the Third Shinobi World War, he defeated a Hyuga clan member and took one of their Byakugan, which he implanted into his right eye socket. With it, he saw through the Genjutsu place on the 4th Mizukage, who would lose his life to it after it was dispelled. Years after the war, he encountered Shisui Uchiha, which left enough of an impact on Ao for him to clearly remember Shisui's abilities and his chakra color. In the anime, shortly after Yagura's passing and Mei Torumi was made the 5th Mizukage, Ao was present when the village received an invitation from Konoha and Suna to join an impromptu chunin exams they would be hosting collaboratively. Ao noted that as the village was still recovering from the 4th's passing and thus shouldn't waste time on an event seemingly designed to showcase Gara as the new Kazakage. After Mei threatened Ao's life after misinterpreting his words as an insult to her marital status, it was ultimately decided that the Kirinin would not take part in this event. 5 Kage Summit Ao sets off with Chojuro to escort the 5th Mizukage to the 5 Kage Summit, called for by the 4th Raikage. There, he scolds Chojuro for his indecisiveness. After traveling for some time, the small group stopped at an inn to eat and rest. After being told that the 4th Mizukage's teachings are to be forbidden, by both the 5th Mizukage and Chojuro, he yells at the latter for not being able to make up his mind as to what to order for dinner and send him to get food. After arriving at the summit in the Land of Iron, Ao sits behind the Kiri curtain, listening as the Kage have their meeting. When the 4th Raikage crushes the table in a fit of anger, Ao, along with the other attendants, move to protect their respective Kage. The commotion ends and the attendants return to their seats. Later, while the Kage are discussing the possibility of making Danzo Shimura the head of the alliance, Ao notices his chakra with his Byakugan. He then points out that Danzo confiscated his Sharingan from Shisui Uchiha, someone he'd fought in the past. Before he can prove the accusation, Zetsu appears, and Ao moves to defend the Mizukage. After the Raikage seemingly kills White Zetsu, he tells Ao to watch Danzo. When Danzo states that he cannot use the mind-controlling technique that many times in one day, Ao says he's unsure if he's lying and that he can no longer trust Danzo. When Fu, Yamanaka, and Torune try to go and battle Sasuke, Ao tells them to stay right there as the Raikage told them to watch over them and when they get into battle position, Danzo tells them to stop. He later demands that Danzo and Fu stop whispering, revealing that he's also a sensor and knows that they've been located. When Sasuke finally reaches the meeting room, Ao is the first to notice his presence. When Sasuke is attacked, Ao and Karin simultaneously notice that Danzo is attempting to escape. Ao asks permission to follow, and is told not to follow him too far. He begins the pursuit after telling the Mizukage he would leave the Akatsuki, Sasuke and his comrades, to her. Sasuke attempts to follow with Karin in tow, but is promptly stopped by the Mizukage. On his way, Ao is also trapped by Zetsu's spore technique, but he manages to get free from it, only to be suddenly trapped by Fu's mind puppet switch curse seal technique. Fu, following Danzo's orders, tries to retrieve the Byakugan. However, Ao tells Fu that there is a special seal in his eyes, making it impossible for enemies to try to take his eye. As Fu decided to improvise by making Ao decapitate himself, Ao warned Fu to time it carefully, as too soon would allow Ao to dodge and too late would take Fu down as well. Before the true outcome could happen, the Mizukage and Chojuro alive to save Ao. Fu, still in control of Ao, tried to trick the Mizukage into removing the seal in his eye, but she saw through Fu's deception when he acted kindly to Chojuro's insult. The Mizukage then punches Ao in the face for calling her an old hag, unaware that Fu already ended the technique. As they're arriving back in Kirigakure, the three are informed that the water daimyo had approved the alliance. Ao is later relieved that former Kirigakure shinobi Kisame Hoshigaki had fallen to the hands of Killer B, not having to worry about any future conflicts. As a sign of good luck, he insists that once they settle down, that he treat Chojuro to a meal before the upcoming war. When he's rejected, he chides him for his dislike of oily foods and to keep it up if he wanted to fail at the crucial moment. 
He is later seen ordering Kirigakure Shinobi to gather all ninja tools currently available to them in the preparation for the war. Fourth Shinobi World War Countdown Ao later escorted Mei to a meeting of the leaders of the allied shinobi forces. He was also seen at the alliance's headquarters making preparations along with the other shinobi. Fourth Shinobi World War Confrontation Ao was appointed captain of the censor division of the allied shinobi forces. When he met with his division, he told a perturbed C who was participating in war for the first time in his life that a great deal depended on how well they did their job as they were the eyes of the alliance. Ao later assisted Inoichi in creating the barrier which the censored division would be using. When the war officially breaks out, he notes that if it had not been for Muta Abarame's information, they would have no idea that the enemy was traveling underground. He then tells his division members to shift the barrier downwards to pick up the enemy's exact location. Upon hearing of the large amount of enemy forces heading towards the first division, Ao uses his sensory abilities to hone in on the revived shinobi on the battlefield while the others maintaining the barrier focused on the large-scale sensing. Ao discovered that there were many reincarnated shinobi amongst the troops, all of which who were infamously strong during their lifetimes. He then reports that there are two persons on the battlefield with immense chakra reserves tinged with the chakra of the nine-tailed demon fox. They were later identified as Kumogakure's gold and silver brothers. Later, after the demonic statue of the Outer Path is summoned to the battlefield, Ao senses it and identifies it as a gargantuan mass of chakra. He wonders to himself what they were up against. As night falls and the Alliance is thrown into turmoil from the reports of spies who had entered their ranks and were murdering the shinobi forces, Shikaku surmises that the enemy must be using some sort of illusion on the shinobi to cause them to act this way. Ao states that Itachi Uchiha was the only person with the kind of prowess to even take control of someone outside of the range of their censors but also states that even for him, it would be impossible to control so many people at once. He then looks to Shikaku for orders, telling them that if they didn't come up with something, they'd end up having their own shinobi killing each other. Fourth Shinobi World War, Climax Though after hearing the progress of the battles from Inuichi leads to some celebration, Ao cuts it short after detecting a new presence on the battlefield near Gara's division. After a tremor is felt at headquarters, Ao reports that a large number of shinobi from the fourth division had been killed all at once. Reporting on the battle between Tobi, Naruto Uzumaki, and Killer B, Ao tells headquarters that B had seemingly transformed into his full Eight Tails form, but was still being pressured. As the Nine Tails chakra is released, Ao and the other sensors manning the barrier comment on the sheer power. Thinking to himself, he states that it felt somewhat different because there was something else that he could feel. He then reports to Shikaku the situation on the battlefield, telling him that the four men were actually beating the masked Madara. Later, when the sensing water sphere in HQ became distorted, Ao hastily followed through with Shikaku's order to check out the situation. In shock of the still displaced sensing water sphere, he alerts everyone in HQ to the fact that the Ten Tails has changed its form another time, and then wondered why the beast was firing off-tailed beast balls in far-off directions. Realizing the direction of the fourth attack, Ao confirmed Shikaku's suspicions that the attack was headed towards HQ. With this, Ao and the others resolved to perform the duties they were assigned until the end, and were able to relay one last strategy before the attack reached HQ. Blank Period Ao managed to survive the Ten Tails' devastating attack on the allied shinobi forces HQ, though it left him severely wounded. In the anime, Ao was discovered buried under debris by the Logistical Support and Medical Division. Afterwards, he would be taken to the Konoha Hospital for treatment, where he would spend many years in a coma. Due to his injuries, Ao became a patient of Katasuke Tono, who used scientific ninja tools to rehabilitate him. While equipped with an advanced prosthetic left leg and arm, Katasuke credited Ao's speedy recovery to his own strong conviction, ultimately allowing Ao to resume living a normal life, though he chose not to return to Kirigakure, nor keep up to date with its affairs. In the anime, feeling that his life no longer had meaning, Ao was approached by Victor, who recruited him to Kara as an outer and would outfit his body with scientific ninja tools and give the retired shinobi a new purpose. Ao would come to work directly under Victor after joining the organization. Versus Momoshiki Arc Around the time the five village co-sponsorship Chunin exams were being held, Ao used Genjutsu to control Katasuke, and extracted information regarding scientific ninja tools from him for Kara. Ao Arc In the anime, Ao came to Konoha, looking for Katasuke to aid in some maintenance for his replacement limbs. He met Mugino, who revealed that the doctor was attending the memorial service for the fallen people of the Fourth Shinobi World War. Ao joined the man to the event, only to arrive late as everyone was already leaving. There, Ao voiced his relief to finally pay his respect to his fallen allies. Upon leaving, he met Shikamaru Nara and Ino Yamanaka. 
Shikamaru asked the sole survivor of the Allied Shinobi Forces HQ about the true feelings of their fathers before their demise, having long-standing doubts about Shikaku's confidence in his abilities. Ao assured him that Shikaku and Inuichi never had any doubt about their kids' abilities, and were proud of them to the end, leaving Shikamaru and Ino truly grateful. While on board a Thunder Rail, Ao encountered Katasuke and his Genin escorts. As Katasuke repaired Ao's prosthetic hand, he told the Genin of his days as a shinobi. Questioning Boruto Uzumaki if he still disliked scientific ninja weapons after seeing the good they did in his rehabilitation, Ao grabbed Katasuke's screwdriver to threaten Boruto, and informed him that the technology isn't good or evil, it's how you use it. When the train arrived at Ryutan City, Ao remained on board while saying his farewells to Boruto. Afterwards, Koji Kashin approached Ao on the train. In the anime, he revealed to Koji that he went to Konoha recently to make sure Katasuke remembered nothing of his usage of Genjutsu on the scientist ready to kill Katasuke if he did as a liability. Koji informed Ao that the vessel had been lost. Tasking Ao with recovering the vessel, Koji left a crate containing intel and weapons for Ao to use on the mission before departing. Later, Ao approached Team Konohamaru, Katasuke, and Mugino on the border of the Land of Fire to ask them about the whereabouts and the content of the box on the airship they encountered. Not receiving an answer, Ao aimed his gun at the group to kill them. Ao then unleashed a barrage of fire-release bullets from his gun. Konohamaru, with help from Katasuke, was able to destroy Ao's gun. As Konohamaru asked if this had anything to do with the organization Kara, Ao unleashed a hidden weapon from his prosthetic shoulder, blasting Konohamaru. He then attacked Katasuke and stole one of his technique absorbing gauntlets. After testing it himself on Boruto's Rasengan, Ao concluded that now they had to die to keep the organization a secret. Mugino then held Ao down long enough to collapse the cave on him and Ao to save his allies. His sacrifice, however, turned futile as Ao quickly clawed his ways out of the rubble, prompting Boruto and his team to retreat, while Ao was committed to making sure not a single one of them survived. Along the way, he was confronted by Koji, who was displeased by Ao's recent sloppiness. As he questioned Ao's resolve at fighting fellow ninja again, Ao bluntly stated that any compassion he had died long ago. Content with the answer, Koji reminded him of his mission to retrieve the target, and warned them about Team Konohamaru preparing an ambush on him, and left. Once Ao found Team Konohamaru, he was attacked by Konohamaru, Mitsuki, and Sarada, who began cornering him with a relentless barrage of ninjutsu assaults. While calmly absorbing them all with the gauntlet, Ao deduced that Boruto was waiting for the right moment to strike at his blind side. Seeing through Boruto's sneak attack, he blocked Boruto's chakra blade with his prosthetic arm, forcing the boy to drop it. Ao then quickly grabbed it and stabbed Boruto through the chest, gloating at Boruto's failure. Boruto, however, was revealed to be a shadow clone and grabbed onto Ao's blade-wielding hand, holding him in place long enough for Mitsuki to restrain Ao's same arm. Quickly, Ao realized he was tricked as the prototype chakra blade was quickly draining his chakra from extended usage. Ao managed to break free and was enraged at being played. He was then attacked by Boruto with his Rasengan. Ao attempted to absorb the attack, but Boruto used the other absorbing gauntlet to cancel the two out, leaving Ao open to be hit by the Rasengan. Despite his battered state, Ao summoned his mirror drones, which knocked out Konohamaru with a sneak attack energy blast. Boruto used his gauntlet to hold off the drone's assault while his team took Konohamaru to safety. As the assault built up a large dust cloud, Boruto attacked Ao with his shadow clones. Ao easily repelled their attacks and subdued the only foe still equipped with the advanced gauntlet, knowing that shadow clones cannot replicate tools of such complex nature. This, however, was a ruse by Boruto, who also knew that, and gave the clone his gauntlet in the dust cloud, giving him an opening to strike Ao down with his chakra blade, in the anime using a Rasengan. Defeated, Ao watched as Boruto loomed over him, expecting him to finish the battle. Boruto, however, instead placed a screwdriver next to Ao, encouraging him to fix himself. Ao discouraged Boruto's blind mercy, saying it would kill him. Boruto, however, insisted that as a former hero of Kirigakure, he had the potential to do good things with the tools at his disposal. Shocked at Boruto's words of encouragement, Ao noticed Koji approaching. Realizing his associate's next move, Ao used his water release to push Boruto away from the impending doom of Koji's crushing summoning at the cost of his own life. Legacy In the anime, after Koji's withdrawal from battle, Konohamaru reluctantly gave Ao a proper burial. He did this not to forgive Ao for killing Mugino, but in gratitude for saving Boruto, noting that he died as a hero and shinobi. Ao's defeat helped Konoha gain a better understanding of the threat from Kara, seeing one of their inners in action. The same battle also gave a better understanding of Boruto's Kama. Did you enjoy your video? 
Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.